um, last time you went, how long did it take to get your eyes measured? Not the time that you waited, but the time that they actually worked with. How long was that? How many minutes? Five minutes? That's got to be a record, huh? What? How much? Five, ten minutes, fifteen, somebody says. Hmm. Um, the British uh, consumer magazine is called Which. About five years ago, they sent out 20, uh, 36 optometry students to uh, 36 optic shops all over the UK to check are they actually doing what they should do. Secretly, they, they went in and pretended to be customers. Right. Only two shops got high marks. That's not too good. Most of them didn't do what they were supposed to do. Right. In their recommendation, good practices of the UK Optometry Association, they say the test should take minimum half an hour. If you need reading glasses, it should take longer. Right. I don't know, do you have the big chains here in Iceland? Iceland is too small to have big chains. <laughs> but <clears throat> in, in the big countries like the UK, Germany, and so forth, or in continent of Europe, there are these chains that have 10,000 shops. Right, they have 20 minutes to measure your eyes max. And then it's to buy the glasses. In Singapore, they tell me that they ask you to choose the frames before they figure out what, could, what goes into them. Right. So the optician, is into, he sells glasses. That's what he's doing, right? That's, that's his business. He doesn't make much money. Does he make, to have your eyes measured, does it cost anything here? You have to pay for it. Okay. But in that case, they should do a good job. <laughs> right. Okay. So what happens is, <coughs> uh, when you go in, usually they will ask you to look into this machine, <coughs> right? Okay, those machines are designed for contact lenses to determine the curvature of your eyes, the size of the eye, and so forth. It is not designed to detect your near sight or far sight or whatever it is that you might have. It's not accurate for that. So then they take you into this little room. Often it is like a closet that's been converted. You sit there, and there, it's in the dark. Right? And they have this projection on the wall. So then what you do is you're actually getting a measurement of how your eyes are at the movies. <laughs> right? Okay, the eye chart you look at should be minimum five meters away. If it's less than that, you don't get an accurate test. Okay, let me explain. If you go hiking, okay, there's a stream of water you want to f you jump over. Okay? How do you know if you can jump over or not? You look across and your brain tells you, yeah, you can do it. But how does the brain know? So the brain does something very quickly called triangulation. Okay, the brain notices the angle that your eyes are turned in order to focus on the grass and across the stream. And then it calculates very quickly. That's the distance. If you, do, if you play baseball, okay, the guy who throws the ball, half a second after the ball leaves his hand, right, you, your brain knows where it is and where it's going to be, the trajectory of the ball, so you get into position, right? And then your brain knows that in three quarters of a second the ball will be here. And then you counter, and at the right moment, you let go and you hit the ball out of the park, right? Your brain or your eyes does not see it, doesn't see the ball, right? You don't sort of follow it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that won't work. You would not be a good baseball player. <laughs> Right. So, in other words, it is not possible to fool your eyes. The brain will very quickly determine, oh, this is just a small eye chart. Right. So, in other words, you don't get an accurate test. Okay. Uh, so, then they will usually try with the next hire because they are busy, right? So, suppose you have three diopters. If you go in with glasses, they ask, can I just borrow your glasses, your old ones? And then they have a machine that tells you how much power that is because they don't waste time if they have to do it in five minutes. You know, there's no time to waste, right? <laughs> okay, so then they say three diopters, and then they take the next higher, 325. And then they say in a tone that sort of makes you understand that you have to hurry, right? Say clear or not clear? <laughs> okay, clear. <laughs> next one, 350, clear or not clear? Okay, it's clear. 375, that's too much, it's not clear. I will almost guarantee you that when you pick up the new glasses a few days later, there will be 350. Right. How does it feel like when you put new glasses on for the first time? Weird. Weird? Mm -hmm. 
you feel like a balloon, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> the ground is either too close or too far away, hurts the eye, you get headaches. What happens when you complain? You're pretty smart. What has to happen to your eyes if you do that? Huh? What has to happen? By doing, by doing what? They have to adopt by doing what? They have to get worse. Yeah, that's not too smart. <laughs> that's the same if you go buy a pair of shoes. You buy them one size smaller. It's cheaper. <laughs> you, know? but you get used to it. In a, week or two, in a week or two, either your feet are smaller or the shoes are bigger, whatever. Take a few painkillers meanwhile, right? 